In this one, we're going to do some descriptive statistics. So first, open up your data set. This one's in Excel. I'm going to browse, find my data set, and open that. Again, you don't have to change anything. I like to just rename my data set to make it easier to type. I'm going to call my data set times. We'll import that. And you can view your nice data set that you made. So the f easiest way to get most of your descriptive statistics is to type in summary. And you can just do summary of the data set. And you can see for your service times, here's your minimum, first quartile, median. It also throws the mean in there for you. Well, pay attention to that. The third quartile and the maximum. Now you could find each of these individually like by typing things like mean of your data set. Sorry, you can't type mean of your data set. You have to do mean of the actual variable. So variable, so times of service times. And your mean is 69. But it was faster just to do summary and get all six of those statistics all at once. The next thing you might want to know is the standard deviation. So standard deviation is really easy. Just do standard deviation and data set with the variable. There's your standard deviation. Now if you want variance, you could do VAR data set variable and it's 309 or if you remember standard deviation is just the square root of variance or to get variance you just square your standard deviation so we could just do 17.58 and square it so there's my variance because remember R is just a calculator you might wonder which standard deviation this is this is a sample standard deviation so they'll be dividing by n minus 1 in the formula for it Now that we've practiced a bit, there's a tip that will save you some time. What you can do is rename your variables. So you might have gotten tired of typing times, dollar signs, service times. If you were, you can rename it. So you'll say x equals and do data set variable. Now, anytime you do x, that's your new name of the variable. So you'll save a lot of time. So if you want the standard deviation of your variable, look, you just do standard deviation of x. Or variance of x. So it's a lot easier. It will save you a lot of typing time if you want to do that. Now the last thing that we do for our descriptive statistics or the most common one, last of the common ones, is to do your mode. Now R doesn't actually have a built-in function for mode. Okay, We're going to have to use this workaround that's really long and for this I would just try to copy it instead of trying to type it every time. So we're going to do names table of x since that's our variable. Then we're going to do brackets table of x equals equals max table x. And our mode is 61. So that's it. There are basic descriptive statistics.